if the living condition is very important for migrants and living condition is uh, more important for citizens too. And um, living condition is more migrants are happy and uh, migrants migrants happy and the uh, country is a very very good uh, economy and uh, and economy is very important for the country is the most important um, and uh, hard jobs for migrants migrants are very hard jobs and normal jobs too and uh, migrants if the voting for um, presidents and and they 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 have a they have a, um, rights um, and to finally we 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 have uh, we have we think that um, migrants have a speech and they have a have a um, have a voting thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, my first question: Who is a migrant? Who is migrant? Migrant is um, go to country and working jobs. Ah, working in jobs. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Uh, yeah, uh, they interest in all the economic sides. Yeah. No, well, economical and uh, working sports. Uh, and they, uh, you said that they go for. Uh, go to another country for getting new jobs and better welfare. Yeah. 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 And uh, my other question is that. Uh, and you said, uh, can you repeat the topic? Our oh, today's topic. Hard jobs and economic problems and hard jobs for working migrants working. Migrants working, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, it's necessary to become a citizen for voting. No, it's it's not necessary because and migrants live five more years and, and migrants are working hard, hard jobs and very five long years jobs. Uh, enough to learn uh, political sphere of government. Yes, and we we accept that. And also, uh, it's enough to. Uh, learn, uh, uh, for example, uh, migrants in one state of USA uh, are from one country, mm -hmm. and one country is uh, his nationality is as the same as the migrants. Who the, the do migrants will vote? Uh, this so country, yeah. yeah. Uh, for example, in state of in one state of USA, yeah. there are a lot of migrants from one country. And the one candidate, and his nationality is the same as the these migrants. Mm -hmm. uh, migrants, uh, who uh, who do migrants will vote? And because migrants live in countries 
Um, uh, Midlands, we will to this content. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Thank you very much. Hi, dear judges, ladies and gentlemen, uh, both team. Uh, I'm the I'm the, uh, I'm the first speaker of the negative team. My name is Carlos Raymano. Uh, now I would emphasize our topic. Uh, say our topic: migrants who have uh, lived in a country for a, uh, for a minimum of five years should be allowed to vote uh, national election. And uh, I want to to be very ridiculous. Our opponent team. You know, this is that their first argument uh, was that. Uh, <coughs> they, um, First, they uh, haven't got any uh, uh, any definition uh, for migrants, uh, for migrants. Uh, but uh, we will say that migrant is a is a person who goes to uh, to other country for a definite uh, definite part of time and again uh, and again come back to his uh, country, uh, to his country. And uh, they say the Afghan team says that uh, as you, um, as you know. Uh, uh, migrants don't have any jobs, uh, and it's because they need uh, they, they need jobs and they want to get jobs. Uh, you know, migrants when coming to this uh, country, uh, they <coughs> we don't. Uh, this isn't our uh, topic. We uh, we say that uh, uh, we say that in five years, minimum five years, uh, uh, minimum five years, migrants living in this. In the country where they immigrate, and uh, they uh, they should vote national election. National election. Uh, I want to emphasize uh, our first argument. Our first argument uh, is that it's necessary to become a citizens for voting. Uh, you know, I want to say that, for example, in one state uh, of USA, there are a lot of migrants and workers. Uh, workers of of course uh, they are from they are for economic interests and most of them are from one countries and also one candidate uh, who uh, who has the same uh, nationality as migrants uh, have <coughs> migrants have parts in selections uh, surely immigrants uh, will prefer uh, this candidate uh, regardless uh, of the political events and the and uh, factors also uh, also agree with us with the US. Uh, now I want uh, to emphasize our uh, second our <coughs> second argument. Our second argument uh, was that migrants couldn't be uh, aware of uh, political and historical events and factors in uh, country. And uh, now I want to say that migrants uh, migrate for, for only economic interests, not for political interests. 
uh, you know, uh, five years aren't enough uh, for uh, being uh, aware of, uh, of the government's politics. Politic, uh, of course, it, it's, a, it's real, of course. You know, and uh, if the Americans interest in the political sphere of uh, government, he would uh, taint uh, his citizenship, of course. Uh, now, uh, our third argument, dear judge, our third argument is that uh, national elections is uh, national elections is uh, un unacceptable. You know, uh, it's unacceptable unaccept for migrants. Uh, it's, uh, it's unacceptable demands and giving a change to migrants take part elections and cause a negative uh, negative change because, as we know, all the native people and citizens worry about the political condition, but the migrants. Um, Migrants, it, it's uh, just migrants uh, that now else. The migrants are people who travel to another country, and only um, only migrants want to increase their economic economic problem and to help their family. Uh, but um, migrants haven't got any idea uh, uh, to uh, to you know, to go and to elect uh, to elect a person uh, from <coughs> from another country. Or and uh, and I want to say that uh, it is. Uh, it's very hard thing to elect uh, election. It, it's very hard, you know. Every every country uh, election is the future of the country, and uh, and how it's acceptable that migrants come and elect a person who who is the leader, who will be the leader, uh, the future of uh, of this country. Of course, it's unacceptable. Uh, okay, and. Uh, Thank you for your attention. Thank you for everyone. Immigrant. Um, uh, okay, immigrant is a person who travels to another country for increase its economic. Uh, but I economic think it's growth. not about the economic size. Maybe. Economic maybe size or cultural might. size and different size. Of no, 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 no. And we know not. immigrants help uh, to uh, to increase uh, the part of uh, a part of economy which haven't been developed yet. But um, migrant doesn't have no, any. It, it's not about just the economy. Maybe migrants want to go to some other country. Some it's for traveling or for for education. Yeah, but maybe it's education. It's not about the economy. But not problems. election. But not about. But not for election. <laughs> not Why for, should not it? Not for uh, not for elect somebody because but migrants has a lot of problems that. It like has no time to think about election they don't of other country. No, when they come to yeah. other country, they, I mean, they have five years. Five years is enough to learn. No, it. not enough. Uh, in five Three. years, in minimum five, minimum five years, we okay, just come let's, and say, let's, let's go with the question. You said, uh, why do you think uh, it's You said the migrants come a country and go away. Like go you away, say, yeah. just just a traveling migrants want to and they want to stay stay oh. the country and learn how to culture, how to economic size, how to I mean but how for to do five years. Things. It isn't enough for election. No. It's enough. How how do you not enough? It? It's five years. It's not enough. They could. I mean, they search it. They learn it. Think. They learn from your country citizens. How do you? I mean, how do you explain it? Explain it. Uh, it's enough because, uh, do you know? Um, it's enough, you said? Not enough. Uh, no, because uh, uh, in five years, migrants only come in and uh, it's a process of adopting uh, the country and uh, it isn't enough for knowing politics sides of the country uh, and migrants haven't got time uh, to think about haven't this. Haven't got time? Why should it? Because uh, migrants want to to get money to increase to increase his skills level uh, and uh, uh, that's yeah. okay. It's my last question. So thank you. Thank you.
everyone. Uh, I am a book. As the affirmative side, we believe that migrants come to our country and they work and they, uh, they live to, in our country, so they deserve to vote. And I completely agree to affirmative side's first speaker about the uh, uh, arguments of uh, votes. Okay, and uh, uh, have same uh, some uh, arguments. Let's speak about the first one. Uh, it's about the hard jobs. I believe that if migrants come to our country and work and live into our country, they should have the same rights of the citizens. Why does why they should have the same rights to citizens? Because if they come to our country and um, and live, migrants to do hard jobs and well-paid jobs. Uh, it's too good to our country's economy. If economy uh, is get high and our life standards uh, get high and we live in a happy and comfortable uh, life. If the migrants do a lot of things for to our country, um, they must deserve to vote. For instance, look Germany. The Turkish people go to Germany to, uh, five, year, uh, to five years and uh, Turkish people work in the Germany. Uh, they have um, they, the Turkish people deserve to uh, vote rights because Turkish people uh, live uh, in uh, the Germany at uh, to five years and they say that the migrants come to our country and uh, they uh, go back. It's not true. Uh, in the in the world, everybody uh, have a freedom rights and if uh, some people um, one time uh, if you want to go anywhere and come back, it's her rights. Thank you for listening, that's all. Hi everybody, ladies and gentlemen, hi again. Uh, now I want to ask you some questions. Uh, who is a migrant? Migrants, migrants is the um, people, the migrants can, uh, come to our country. Uh, it's so, come our so country, uh -huh. for what? For what? And uh, why? Because they uh, accept, uh, no, sorry, uh, accept. I think they deserve to vote because uh, the migrants come to our country. It's, uh, migrants come to our country and they work and live in our country. It's very uh, good to our economy. And then I say my uh, economy. Great. Uh, Turkish people going uh, to Germany for voting? No, not for voting. The uh, Turkish people go to Germany and they uh, they work in, they work there and they live in that. And uh, that's uh, only want uh, if Turkish people uh, think that if uh, I'm going to go uh, going to Germany, uh, on, I'm not only do uh, do what they want to uh, uh, doing job there. Okay, yeah. And Turkish don't come back. No, they come, come back come to back. Germany. And all they vote in Germany. Who who migrated to the, uh, Germany? And all uh, Turkish people in Germany, yeah. all they voting? Yeah, yes. All they voting. 
Oh, great. And, um, okay. And I want to ask you <coughs> another question. Um, And uh, what do you think? It's enough? Uh, five years is enough? Yes, I for, think it's enough. Uh, for to you know about how politics sides of this country, to, uh, to know about uh, people uh, uh, who can be a leader. How do you say that? It's enough uh, for to know laws and rights. How can uh, they uh, elect or yeah. how can they vote? Yes, it's too, uh, too, too, too a long time to uh, learn uh, lo uh, the rights and laws because uh, five years uh, uh, it, uh, five years isn't a little time. Uh, you say that five years. When I'm minimum five years. For instance, yes, minimum five, minimum five years. For instance, I'm going to uh, Germany and live in there. I'm uh, speaking Ger Ger Germany in two years. Thank you. Greetings to all of you, uh, dear judges, ladies and gentlemen, and our opponents. I am the second speaker of the Azerbaijan team, and my name is Akshay. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, emphasize uh, the, uh, one moment in the game. Uh, as you see, uh, both speakers of the, our opponents don't speak uh, a lot uh, about the, our topic, and it goes uh, by that they know uh, our arguments and our position is truly than theirs. Uh, and our opponents during their uh, little speech say that um, uh, migrants don't have any jobs, they need jobs to increase the economy and so on. Uh, it's quite normal to, uh, uh, because it's quite normal that they have uh, hard work because they work, migrants always work in the side sides of economy in which natives don't work and they increase uh, their size and get salaries and it's enough for migrants and uh, the government uh, must not let them to take part in uh, elections. Also, our opponent uh, say that it's enough uh, five years, only five years uh, to, uh, to 
know the conditions of the country. And we say in our uh, and we say in our argument that uh, five years is not uh, enough to the to know the condition of the country because uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, because it takes more and more than five years, and nobody except citizens uh, no, uh, don't know uh, the real condition, the real historical and political condition in the countries where uh, migrants live. Also, our opponents uh, saying that uh, governments must give the same rights uh, to migrants and equalize the rights of immigrants and citizens. Uh, of course, uh, <coughs> it shouldn't be because. Uh, governments, yes, uh, governments should increase their rights or uh, and others, but don't. Uh, but they shouldn't let them uh, to take part in votes because migrants don't know. Uh, I think. Uh, I think again, they don't know the real political and historical condition in the country because uh, they are working for a temporary job uh, for a temporary time, and after a fixed period of time, they uh, go back to their countries. And um, during only five years, they don't know uh, anything because they are working in their jobs and getting salary uh, and maintain their families only. They uh, they interest only in their race and e uh, their economic uh, conditions. And uh, uh, and they uh, if uh, we let them to take part in votes in the elections, uh, they could um, uh, they could uh, elect. Uh, they could vote for the uh, wrong person uh, or for president or prime minister because um, and if they vote for the wrong person it, it cost uh, uh, about uh, uh, it cost about things for the country also in our arguments say, uh, we say that uh, it's necessary to become a citizen for, vo for uh, voting and it, uh, our argument is true because only citizen can't uh, vote in elections and our opponents say that in, Tur uh, in Germany Turkish people vote uh, in the elections and so on and we say that uh, if, if they want to vote in elections why they don't become a citizen uh, if they interest in the political and historical and economic condition of the country, why they don't become a citizen? If, if they want to elect, they must be, uh, become a uh, citizen and uh, then they can vote in elections. And uh, also, and uh, finally I want to say that uh, uh, during our speech uh, and uh, we show you different arguments and facts, and you see that our argument is very strong and more strong than the opponent's arguments. Thank you for attention.
Jesus and Margot. What's it called? You, think, you, th you said that uh, I think Margot uh, live five years and five years is not, it's not a little time. Yes, it's a little time. It's a quite little time because in five, uh, as I said, in, in just uh, five years, uh, Margot couldn't understand the situation, the real situation in the country. I think it's enough time in five years because... Oh, uh, uh, maybe it's a few things, but in, in, in the real life, uh, it's fact that uh, five years and is five a quite uh, I'm saying little period. I'm saying in a real life, I think oh, okay, maybe. Life. It's your opinion. Yeah, okay. What's the topic? Is. Our topic is migrants who have to live in a country for a minimum size of five years. Five years should be allowed to vote into international elections. Uh, our team is completely, completely believes that it is true. So you said it's why it's true. Because uh, let me think, it's like one of the uh, citizens wants a uh, wants a one president to to win like obama like i mean bush uh, want to win but they don't have uh, enough uh, voting they don't have uh, enough vote what do they do they need the migrants voting so they it must be i mean they need the inter uh, international elections and you always said the migrants come to some other country, like travel, they don't want to, five years, it's not enough. It's, you always said it's five years, not enough, blah, blah, blah. But I think it's enough time to learn how, how the politics, how the stuff, but it's, it's a little bit confusing. So we think that five years is enough. So the secondly, uh, migrants, uh, wants to be a part of the, I mean, part of the country. They don't want to be a, like, not stay. They want to be a, be a part of the country. They, maybe they should, they should, the president someday. Who knows? I mean, uh, they need to vote thing. Uh, uh, Maybe uh, sometimes you, you don't like some jobs, but migrants come to their country, they do whatever you like, whatever you do, and they also well paid jobs, uh, they do whatever they like. But you say always it's voting, it's not necessary, migrants don't need to voting, but how it's maybe your, uh, I mean, your vote, it's, it's not enough. What do they do now? You need the migrants voting. You need to help the migrants vote. So thank you. It's it's enough.
Hi everybody, I am the first speaker of Azerbaijan team and I want to start my duty. Uh, and I want to start clarify the migrant uh, meaning. And we said that the migrant is uh, the people who go to another country and getting a job and for a better welfare. And after that, after that uh, in the cross-examination, we asked the apparent team, uh, does, uh, do the Turkish uh, people uh, come back to uh, uh, their native countries? They uh, said, yeah. And after that, uh, we say that. Why me, uh, if the migrants go back to their countries, why we must give them the right of voting? Uh, and they go to their country, they, but they change our political sphere, our political condition. And if they uh, make some difficulties, uh, it can cause uh, encounter these problems with our native uh, people, not migrants. And uh, also, uh, we uh, in uh, cross examination, I asked uh, USA example. He also said that yeah, uh, if the uh, migrants will vote their uh, native uh, candidate, uh, that uh, if the candidate nationality as the same as the migrants. Migrants will vote uh, for the economic interest to this candidate. Uh, and also, uh, we asked in uh, cross examination that uh, Germany, uh, five means is not enough for learning political sphere. And he said that uh, it's enough to learn language. Yeah, it's enough to learn the language, but uh, not political sphere. And uh, they also said that. Migrants has the same uh, migrants must be has the sa has the same rights as citizen. But we say that it's good. Why all countries such as USA, European countries, uh, that strong countries don't accept the UN Convention because UN Convention uh, gives the migrants as the uh, same rights as the migrants. But uh, strong countries don't accept this because uh, they don't uh, go to negative impacts of migrants on the economy. And another uh, fact, uh, and uh, also, the uh, third speaker only cleared the topic and only he or she uh, said some things about the story. But he also said this fact. Uh, for example, uh, he uh, gave the Obama fact and said that, for example, Obama, uh, Obama cannot give, uh, cannot get uh, enough votes. He uh, need uh, migrants votes, but it's uh, false because uh, Obama. Uh, what? Uh, and I want to say that our team's opinion is that people don't want this candidate. If the native people, all people, don't want this candidate. Why uh, we choose the uh, migrants uh, vote? And migrants vote is uh, little. And if this uh, ch can change any political change in the government sphere, it can cause uh, many big difficulties. And another uh, fact is uh, was that uh, national elections. We uh, discuss about national elections, but uh, all three speakers. Uh, of Abban team said international elections. Uh, it's not international elections. Uh, and there is no such uh, term as international elections. And also, it's uh, also unacceptable in national elections uh, to give right uh, to migrants uh, to change, to make some change in our politics. Because, as we said, it's not enough to ch uh, learn our politics. And as we said, uh, migrants go to one country to another country for economic interest. They, uh, as the uh, first speaker said, only about this uh, fact, they only go to uh, one country for economic interest, and they encounter with hard works. They want to good works. Yeah, their uh, approach is this. But our approach is uh, not this, and we declared our opinion, and we said that it's not good to uh, give right migrants uh, as a citizen to vote in our native uh, elections. Thank you very much.